Hi, I'm Brian Zender. I am from San Antonio, Texas, and I won the ACOG Richardson paper for my study on post-operative pain control and using adjunctive um, therapies in order to reduce morphine use. So we all know that management of post-operative pain as well as getting patients out of bed early post-operatively is important, not only for um, reducing the amount of suffering that they have after surgery, but also increasing the um, likelihood that they're not going to develop a pneumonia, an ileus, or um, having other complications postoperatively. What we looked at in our study was putting a neoprene binder that has both a pelvic and an abdominal component around the patient immediately postoperatively, letting them um, and then letting them wear that for 24 hours while we kept track of how much morphine they used. We also kept track of how much they walked around and how long it took them to get out of bed postoperatively. We identified a high risk group of patients, those who were over age 50, those who had midlines, um, vertical midline incisions, and those who had um, surgery for gynecologic cancer or advanced urologic procedures. Um, and these patients were at increased risk for um, for not getting out of bed, taking longer to get out of bed, or using more morphine than patients who were younger, had horizontal skin incisions, or just minor procedures. What we found is that by putting the binder on um, the patients, they would get out of bed earlier, they would walk around more, and even though we didn't find significance in the morphine use, there were trends towards patients not using as much morphine postoperatively.